Okay, so just making some notes for how to properly use a 3D printing pen, at least uh, from what I've found so far, since I'm pretty new to using it, but I'm getting some pretty great results. Uh, these uh, had a bunch of under extrusion issues and they've all been filled in corrected. The yellow and the white were especially bad and I'm pretty darn happy with this. If we zoom in here, if it lets me focus the camera here. Not bad, right? So, um, yeah, how I fixed those was, of course, using this 3D printed pen. And I'm just making some notes here. So first off, it requires, I believe, three amps on a 12 volt supply. So it needs a nice chunky uh, bit of current there. It doesn't say that on the pen, it just says 12 volts. Uh, when you plug it in, you'll get this orange light. And the way to turn it on is to actually press this button. And then that, there was a very hard to see LED under there that will turn red. Go ahead and refocus this camera again. Um, now to load the filament, and I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure what this does, but push that up like so to load filament, put your filament in and then hold down this button and it will load the filament kind of slowly. You have to wait a little while. Um, so uh, that's how you load filament. Uh, once you start doing that, this will turn green and the temperature will rise. Uh, obviously, you have to clear out the uh, previous color if you've worked with a different color. And um, I don't actually find myself needing to extrude very much because the nozzle just leaks. It just oozes out filament, just like a 3D printer nozzle mostly does. Uh, so what I found to be the real trick here, uh, make sure you always have your magnifying LED headset and some tweezers at hand to clear the extrusion and then some silicon, like a silicon mat like this to, to take the extra hot filament away. And using my magnifying headset, I just get really close and let the tiniest bit of oozed amount fill in the under extrusion gaps and then just wipe it like a, like a, like a brush. Um, of course, along with the layer lines themselves. And I find that works really, really well when the temperature is set to 183 for yellow and then 175 for white. So it kind of depends on the PLA, but essentially you let it get hot and then you cool it down to, you know, barely any kind of melting point at all. And that way you're just using the tiniest bit of oozing to fill in and wipe across for any under extrusion mishaps. Uh, so that's what I've done, been doing so far, and this is the second time I've done this only, but super, super pleased with the results on these two guys. Uh, totally saved these very quick, you know, not the longest uh, prints ever, but not the shortest, because they had so many, so many colors I had to switch out manually. So very happy to save these. Um, for little small details, I don't think this is quite so great. I actually used acrylic paint to get in the to fill in the A's there because there was an issue with that. Um, so I don't know about that. Uh, it, does, it doesn't does have the utmost control for tiny filling in uh, kind of aesthetic details like that that are visible, that are highly visible. But for filling in under extrusion, absolutely wonderful for that. And I'll be looking forward to trying more things out with it. That's all for this one. Sega Sonic fan, signing out.